Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of uh, April 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I am reading for uh, April, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. It's when you're drawn to the video that you're meant to hear its message. Okay, so beginning with the dice. Um, either this is your energy or it is theirs. I feel that someone here, um, if it's the other person, somebody has taken a renewed interest in you, I feel. Somebody um, is thinking about something that uh, they believed, possibly a long-held belief. It could be that uh, they have new information which is making them question that belief. It, it, it feels like um, this person is still very much attracted to you. There is a renewed interest in that situation that took place, um, that separated you, or uh, into what caused it, and a renewed interest in um, trying to get back something they feel they've lost. You see, it's possible that this person uh, saw uh, um, how would I say that <laughs> it's like uh, somebody expected a specific outcome that's how I'll say it and this can be a card of camouflage so it could be that um, they thought that something was going on Okay, um, but this is the this is like unknown energy. It's uh, something that can get one into trouble. Um, it is about uh, making assumptions. One would say. Now, from this experience, something. Uh, should have been or is going to be learned. It came to a painful ending because perhaps somebody made a presumption uh, based on a, a, a belief that they had for some time that they uh, may have believed to be true. Um, they felt like, um, well, I feel like, first of all, that they were very vulnerable because of past experiences they've had. Um, they may have had a wound that was still bleeding, you know, um, that, uh, that made them automatically feel that something um, was uh, that someone was being deceptive, you know. So now what we see, the central issue of this reading is that they're trying to shed light on that situation because more than likely there's uh, new information or new insight for this person. Um, we see we have the eye here. They might see something differently. This person could also uh, be watching. Somebody walked away in the past. Um, and uh, that situation, well, they walked away because they felt it was unstable. They felt there was deception, but it came from an old wound and and they were presuming because they weren't talking they weren't talking because the high priestess is here 
right here and she's in the upright so they weren't uh, they were kind of playing their cards close to their chest not showing their hand they may have uh, jumped the gun on something like um, made an impulsive action I feel because of a wound they thought maybe it was too risky um, yeah they were they had a with the with the tombstone there they would have been carrying a lot of burdens and but keeping them inside so you know um, it could be that the other person may not have been aware whatever was going on inside of them whatever they were thinking feeling they weren't sharing this person uh, i feel uh brought this to a very painful ending there could have been a conflict here with that uh ace of swords there could have been um they could have just cut somebody out put them out in the cold because they thought they were hiding something and again you see it's the same it's the same story right because this person is wounded and in this person here carries they got this purse that's closed and so they suspect that they're hiding something from them you know based upon their experiences they're not trusting so they could have just ended it abruptly um, they could be also uh, thinking back or or were reflecting on something that was said or that something that was said uh, touched a very vulnerable spot in this person and there was an automatic reaction to it but um, what we see is um, a change of mind somebody uh, seeing something in a different way now after uh, a time in seclusion here okay so there's time apart and we have that also on the dice and a lot of thinking trying to heal um, trying to I, I feel it is about uh, trying to find a way to heal this situation um, because they're thinking of returning uh, because of this card it talks about uh, a lover returning it talks about a homecoming um, and this is what they're thinking of while they are in isolation in that castle or behind those walls they are trying to well i feel that they do for the cards that are here the recovery card uh i do feel that they in this time apart that they see because it's a card of seeing uh the root issue so it's there's recognition of what went wrong i feel because this is also a card uh, of recognition this is somebody wanting to seek your attention they wish to return this person could be wanting to recover with the card of recovery they could be wanting to recover something they feel they've lost and they are questioning uh, an old belief that they had you know
So although something may have ended here, we see that there is a light on this, on the tip of that tombstone there. So it's like, um, there's still hope. It could be that you're currently not talking. Um, it could be that there, yeah, this is again tied into that energy and their thoughts. So there was a confrontation of some sort here. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. What's going on here? Or, uh, you know, I don't trust you or, uh, you know, what are you hiding? Oops. <laughs> Whatever this was, there was a confrontation. Okay. But now it's in reverse. So, um, I feel that it could be that somebody was dishonest or somebody, uh, didn't see the whole picture or somebody wasn't seeing clearly. Uh, they could have been even being dishonest with themselves. They could have been under the influence of another energy. Somebody else could have been influencing them and the way they were thinking or what they were thinking. Somebody could have uh, been kind of egging this person on. So there could have been some type of uh, third party influence here. This person could have been very influenced by uh, this person. This could have been somebody uh, that just planted a seed in their mind and then, you know, And this person being vulnerable would have ran with that. Yeah, let's see. Six of Swords. So uh, they may have felt the journey was too risky um, and backed away. And, and, and we had that back here but now it's it feels like um with the bridge it it feels like um they want to close the distance between you because they are now questioning something they believed in they now wish to talk They now wish to talk. They're, they're going to go back. Somebody's going back to a situation that was troubling. Because if I look closely at this picture, they seem to be riding from calmer waters into more choppy waters. It's almost like it's the reverse of your typical uh, Six of Swords. So... And um, they're carrying all of these thoughts with them. And the, the thoughts are not behind them. They're right in front of them. So there's, okay, this person is going back, hoping to meet somebody somewhere. This can be, the bridge can be a meeting point. And they're going back from their relative place of safety, which was where they ran to, the castle back here, the calm place, calmer waters, right? So they're leaving that castle and they're coming back into that choppy water. I don't know if you can see it close up. Yes, you see how they left the calm water and they're riding into the choppy water. And they're going to this meeting place and they got all these swords lined up in front of them. It's like they're going back to face their fears to get their answers or to explain something. Either way, 
they want to go back and this it's like it feels like it's not finished so they have to go back maybe to finish something or to know something or to find out or to explain to shed light or to offer light you see up here somebody was not believing the other person's story and they thought that they were uh, the victim they thought that that they were going to get a broken heart because that didn't happen so it's a presumption you know because they weren't grounded first of all they were feeling very vulnerable from an old wound and that's why temperance has both of her feet in the water but they didn't have all of the information is what the next card says because the four of coins and there you go there's that third party influence that so there's somebody there that may have been whispering in that person's ear or for some of you there could have literally been a third party influence here and somebody felt uh, victimized or they felt like they were going to be uh, left out in the in the cold okay so this person has been thinking about all of this and something now this is what they did believe you know this is what they believed in the past but now there's new information that would have them questioning that belief remember that and now they want to find out so they're heading back here into this uh, choppy water that they left behind them and they are hoping to meet with this person the bridge it's an excellent card uh, to get in a reading it is very positive one actually bridging the gap closing the gap uh, it actually brings you guys back together yeah and so there's that uh, hermit again and he's uh, shedding light there's the light there's the lantern you see here's the lantern right here at the heart of the reading and there's the hermit with his lantern and he's looking where to the past for wisdom okay possibly having to do with somebody's faithfulness or loyalties with the dog there okay and um so he's looking to the past for wisdom um for a future decision now he could be um he could be have been this could have came before this so this could be what starts the journey back or that he's thinking of going back to that meeting place but you see here with this page of swords and in this deck particularly he's looking at the sword okay so he's looking at a future he's looking at wisdom first from the past that is going to pertain to a future conversation so uh, when he finds this information he will reflect upon it think uh, before speaking and maybe that's one of the lessons here for this person or the lesson because this person takes the time to think about something even though it is a page he has learned from the wisdom of the past to think before speaking because in the past he made an impulsive decision you see that caused a lot of heartbreak not just for him but for both of them you know and so here he is standing alone at the three of coins well the three of coins is where typically you would you would see a group of people um, working together to build something but he wasn't understanding in the past he wasn't cooperative in the past he wasn't willing to listen in the past and so what happened he ended up alone 
looking back at what is done, what is lost, and maybe wondering how to get it back. He seems to have recognized from the wisdom of the past, which is what I thought, you know. I had that feeling at the beginning that <clears throat> he was going to learn something here. Because remember, this is about a lesson, something to be learned, that will carry him forward in good stead here in the future. Breaking, uh, maybe breaking a pattern with the uh, into the unknown in reverse here. Um, maybe breaking a pattern, uh, a cycle of, uh, you know, maybe being impulsive or speaking without thinking. He made a presumption here. Uh, he's looking at it, you see. There he is um, studying the coin and he's looking at the bad choice. He made a bad choice. He looked at or presumed uh, what he was seeing, but it's like what he was seeing was not what it was. So this is a question of what was true and what was false. So, and this is why he was questioning the beliefs. He ended up making a bad mistake here because he uh, presumed and judged too quickly, you know. And so now, yeah, you see, uh, somebody, this can indicate somebody being uh, hit with something in a vulnerable spot. There again, we have, you see, uh, what's true and what's false. Yeah. And so this person will decide to fight for this relationship and they go back. It's exactly what's happening here. Here you have that blast from the past with the cannon. And the skull, well, mm, it could be uh, reflecting on the kings. Well, I have the king and the queen. It feels like he was afraid uh, in the past of taking a risk on something. He will be, he's going to be explaining this to you. It has to do with, uh, it could have had to do with status. But I, I feel like uh, uh, here, um, somebody uh, is coming forward to show their hand and uh, uh, or show, uh, show, okay, somebody's coming forward to release what they had been keeping inside because here she's in the upright and here she's reversed. So she, whatever she didn't talk about or wasn't talking about before, she's now open to talking about this or is ready to talk about this. But the nine of coins says how she handles that is going to be very important. And that's why it's important that this person uh, thinks before they speak, okay? Because maybe with this card here, there's a tendency to judge too quickly. Because this king here, he's judging a relationship. He judged in the past, felt he wasn't, uh, he was kind of like getting the short end of the stick, so to speak. I feel that, um, okay, so I have the king and the queen. Um, so he's going to, uh, this person has decided to fight for this relationship. He gets the courage to come forward. Yeah, see, there's that four of swords. He wasn't cooperative. There it is. There's the answer right there. He was not cooperative, was not listening was not paying attention or um, or maybe wasn't looking at the root issue also in the past. Here he is thinking about you, getting the courage to come forward. He knows he's, he, he made a judgment uh, call and he knows that uh, he knows that he's hurt you and that you might have a chip on your shoulder, possibly, 
so he'll he'll approach with care, but um, he will also come in. Uh, he with this king here, he can come in and just sweep you off your feet before you know what happens, <laughs> before you know what's going on. So <clears throat> you also feel a very romantic side to this. Uh, uh, conversation that there's more than just talking here okay that's going on I kind of feel like the the attraction is and that feeling that intense intensity that's what it is is felt between the two of you yeah and so, what's the next card? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. I'm not surprised. So, um, a new opportunity. And it just might come at you by surprise. There's that king again. Uh -huh. So, th that's like a... This card speaks to somebody you know or, or you think you know well. Uh, but uh, that they can still surprise you. So maybe you're not expecting this to happen and then suddenly they come back in a way that might surprise you. But um, yeah, see this person has been holding something back and it could even be, it could even be that, uh, yeah, see there's some type of, wake-up call for this person it could be that that a new beginning is very very heavy on this person's mind that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has uh, sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.